October WTI futures open on the upside today, largely on fears and news flow with Tropical Storm Ida, which they say is shutting down about 1.3 million barrels a day of production in the Gulf Coast. Combine that with rumors overnight that China is soon to ease pandemic restrictions. Also, we heard uh, news from BNEF that uh, stated that OPEC Plus's compliance rate for the month of July was 108%, which is a year-to-date high. And lastly, Vortexa, uh, news about storage tankers being stationary for seven days, down 4.6% week over week. The rally actually extended, and we actually did touch two-week highs in the process post Jackson Hole Symposium, which sparked a mini risk on rally. We saw stocks higher, uh, yields lower, dollar lower. WTI got caught in the process on that one. Um, Additionally, we saw news from India with their import news came out up 21.8% importing crude year over year. That's a five and a half year high uh, for the country. Uh, The rally perhaps capped a little bit with uh, COVID news U.S. uh, new infections uh, news came out that we were at a six and three quarter month high and Japan is extending their pandemic state of emergency through September. Lastly, we had the Baker rig count uh, came out in the afternoon. Uh, U.S. uh, added five rigs. Uh, Canada lost seven and internationally we lost nine. Now going into CME Group uh, micro mini futures that were launched not too long ago with WTI continue to add uh, liquidity, open interest, and volume. Looking at October options on a one month to three month basis, trading about the 25th percentile at the money vols are higher today. Uh, the up variance is up, the down variance is down. That would imply that implied skew is up, which it is. Biggest volume seen today in October, the 70 and 71 calls. On the put side, the 67 and 66 puts.